Hello class. Um, in our last videos, we looked first at how we could start with binary, octal, or hexadecimal and convert to the decimal number system. And then we looked at how we could start with a decimal number and convert it to either binary, octal, or hexadecimal. So what I'd like to do now is look at um, the last type of conversion that we'll study in this course, which is the conversion directly from octal to binary or binary to octal and directly from hexadecimal to binary or binary to hexadecimal. And this is accomplished quite easily using conversion charts. So here we have um, the octal numbers from zero through seven. And in this column, we have the binary equivalent of each. Um, if you had to draw this chart yourself, it's most easily accomplished using patterns. You could see here in this first column, we have four zeros, then four ones. Here, two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones. And finally, zero one, zero one, zero one, zero one. So the pattern is very easy to remember in case you had to fill out the chart uh, yourself. Um, the chart becomes larger when we look at the one comparing hexadecimal to binary and that's of course because the hexadecimal number system with the prefixes hex and deci has 16 uh, digits. So we have to accommodate um, from the numeric value of zero all the way to the numeric value of 15. So the pattern now uh, becomes first eight zeros and then eight ones, four zeros, four ones, four zeros, four ones, two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones, all the way down, and then zero one, zero one, all the way down. Okay? So, um, we have the charts here already created, so we're simply going to make use of them now um, in performing some conversions. I, I should show you though, just before we begin, that um, the values are consistent with the digits they represent. Uh, so for example, the octal five is represented one, zero, one. And that's because in converting this, we would say one times two to the zero plus nothing plus one times two squared. In other words, one plus four is five. Okay, and I can um, take an example down here as well. Remember B, uh, represents 11. So how does this number 1011 correspond to 11? Well, it's 1 times 2 to the 0 plus 1 times 2 to the 1 plus 0 plus 1 times 2 cubed or 1 plus 2 plus 8, which certainly is 11. And you can check that um, for every single one of these digits, these are the correct representations. And the key here is that it takes three digits to represent an octal number, while it takes four digits to represent a hexadecimal number. Okay, so let's get started. These are the conversions I'm going to do with you. Okay, so the first ones are octal to binary, and we start with this. 5317 in octal. So if we're converting to binary, this simply requires that we use the correct chart. So we're going to be using the top chart. And all we, would do, 
all we're gonna do is replace each one of these digits with the three digits that correspond in the chart. So five, three, one, seven. So first the five, then the three, then the one, and then the seven. Okay, and just writing them like that. So that's the five, that's the three, that's the one, and that's the seven. And we're done. So we can put a subscript of two there at the end. So we started with four numbers here and we end up with four times three or 12 numbers here. So again, that's five, three, one, seven uh, in the first chart. Okay, we'll do this one now. So starting with one and then two sevens and a two. So one, seven, seven, two is what we're gonna write down, okay? One, seven, seven, two would be like this. So again, we're, we had four digits and now we have four times three or 12 digits. Now this one is a little tricky though because we do not start a number with zeros. So when we write out our final answer, we would not include these two leading zeros, if you like. So we'd start the number right here at this first one. So we're gonna write down seven ones to begin the number. And then we'll have zero one zero. And I'm gonna include the subscript of two there at the end. So now instead of, in fact, all 12 digits, uh, we end up with only 10 digits because we drop these zeros at the front of the number. Okay? Okay, now the conversion from binary to octal is also pretty straightforward. So what we wanna do is break this into groups of three. So how many digits are here right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And eleven is not actually a multiple of three. So when we break this into groups of three, it's really important that we start at the end of the number, the right side of the number, like this. Watch, I'll show you. So one group of three, another group of three, another group of three, and then if this is to be considered a group of three, we would remember that a zero would be implied right there. And then all we do is look up each of these in the chart. So the first one again is zero, one, zero. So take a look at the chart. Zero, one, zero is the octal number two. So this is a two. Then you'd look up this one, 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 zero. So again, just go to the chart, quickly find one, one, zero. It's a six. Next, zero, one, one, same story. Take a look at your chart. That's the octal three. And lastly, zero, zero, one. You'll find that right here is the octal one. So we end up with two, six, three, one with base eight. Okay, exactly the same thing for the second example. Break it up into groups of three, but start at the right-hand side in case there is um, one or two, in case there are one or two leading zeros. So group of three, group of three. And again, if this is a group of three, it means one zero is implied here. So now we look up these little groupings. So zero, one, zero is the octal two. Zero, one, one is the octal three. And one, zero, one is the octal five. Okay, so now we have our answer, two, three, eight, two, three, five, base eight. 
Okay, so what this does, this, this saves you from first converting from octal to decimal and then from decimal to binary. Okay, so, and again, here, the chart is saving us from first converting from binary to decimal and then from decimal to octal. So if we use this first chart, we can perform those uh, conversions directly. Okay, let's do these ones as well. So hexadecimal to binary. The key is that each character here is replaced um, with four digits using the second chart. So we have 4E1. So look up the four. It's here, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, next. Whoops. <laughs> Look up the E, one, 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 zero. And finally, you could look up the one, zero, 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 one. Okay, before moving on to the next question, rewrite this without the zero in the front. So the number will start with the first non-zero digit here. like that, and then we can put in our subscript of two. And the same thing can be done here, again, using the lower chart, since we have base 16. Look up the two, zero, zero, one, zero. Then the B, one, zero, one, one. And finally, the nine, here, one, zero, zero, one, and then rewrite the number so that it starts with a one. So we rewrite this part of the number. And include the subscript of two. Okay, so it had three characters, so we did three times four, 12 here, but then we dropped the two leading zeros, so in fact, we ended up um, with 10 digits in our final answer. Okay, and the very last conversion that we need for this course is the conversion directly from binary to hexadecimal, which is very much um, the same process that we did back here, binary to octal, except when we break this up, it will be into groups of four. Also starting from the right side though. So let's try this one. One, two, three, four. That means we break it up here and here. One, two, three, four. So if this is meant to be a grouping of four, it means it would be Zero, 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 one. Three zeros and then a one. So let's look that up in the chart. Three zeros and then a one, of course, is the hexadecimal number one. Okay, now one, one, zero, one. Take a look at your chart. That's the um, digit D. One, one, zero, one is a D. Lastly, zero, 0101 zero, one, zero, one is here. 0101 zero, is 5. Okay, so we end up with 1D5, base 16. And last example for our video, groups of four, since we're conver converting to hexadecimal, Okay, and for this grouping here, to make it a group of four, it would be zero, one, one, zero. So let's start by looking that one up in the chart. Zero, one, one, zero is here, it's six. Then we have four ones, which is the F. Lastly, zero, one, one, one. 
You'll find that here. It's the hexadecimal seven. Put in your subscript of 16 and you're all set. Okay, so um, now you know all of the required number system conversions for the course. So I hope that you understood that uh, lesson well today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me uh, via email. Okay, thanks and have a great day.